I am more than sure that it has come to your attention that McDonald's and every other fast food chain is currently closed. It kind of sucks because myself and many other YouTubers on this platform utilise fast food chains in most videos. This whole quarantine thing was going absolutely fine until they closed all the fast food chains and I thought, damn, what am I going to do now? And then I thought, no, actually, this is fine. Do you know what we can do? We can get creative. We can be a little bit out of the box and we can bring McDonald's to us. So today, my brother and I are going to recreate our McDonald's orders in our kitchen almost exactly as closely as we physically can, including the packaging. Yep, that's right. I've even made the boxes because you girls got a lot of time on our hands and why not? To be fair, my boyfriend Tom actually designed these and I just put them together pretty badly. They say hashtag beauty spectrum on them. But other than that, I'm gonna go and call on my brother. Come and start cooking because I'm so excited for this. Harry? Hello. Here he comes. Listen, Gordon Ramsay's here. Calm down. <laughs> oh boy. Why are you so tall? We're gonna have to have a frame like. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get it. What's your name? Uh, Harry Thompson. And what's your McDonald's order? Uh, it varies a lot. What but McDonald's order are we going for tonight? So tonight we're going to go for the classic Big Mac, so maybe some medium fries and then a Coca-Cola, Coke Zero to be precise, on the side. Right, okay. My name's Molly. I didn't ask you. Okay. <laughs> what's your name? My name's Molly. And my order of McDonald's varies between three, but for tonight we're actually going to go for a little bit of a different one. Harry's going for the Big Mac, which is my other option. I'm going to go for the chicken mayo. Ooh, classic. Mm, Can't beat a good but, yeah. chicken meal. Yeah. Mm, are you excited? Very excited. Let's go. It is food haul time. We got the bread cakes. So we got the salad, burgers, which Harry's just pointed out, they're not thin enough. In McDonald's, they would be thinner than that. I picked up the best I could. We've got to take into account the supermarket situation right now, guys. And then I got the chicken breast fillets. Again, they're not round, but I don't think they're round in McDonald's, actually. Skinny fries, of course. Bread, cheese slices, and then tomatoes. Although, what did you just say to me? 90% sure tomatoes are in a Big Mac or a chicken mayo. Is tomato in a Big Mac? I don't think it is. I think it is in a chicken mayo, though. Stand corrected. It is, isn't it? It is. It is in a Big Mac. I knew it was. I don't think it is. Is it in a chicken mayo? Yeah, see, tomatoes are in everything. You probably just either take them out or don't notice that they're I'll there. I'll take them out. I actually get um, a chicken mayo without the lettuce. You know when you can select on the machines, do you want lettuce? I always say no. Also say no to gherkins, but Harry, you say yes to gherkins, don't you? Oh, gherkins are so good. They're a pickle! It's a pickle! It's a gherkin. Guys, look at this. British. It's a gherkin. If you're American, sorry about that. Right, so the chicken says 18 minutes at 2.30 and the burgers say... 12 minutes at 2 30 but it depends if the oven is fan assisted which i'm actually not too sure whether or not our oven is fan assisted mum is our oven fan assisted it's fan assisted it says mayonnaise relish mustard apple cider vinegar and seasonings whisk to combine well and then put in the fridge for an hour right so we're not having the big mac sauce well no we have all this do we have relish no do we have apple cider no nah. mustard no nah. Okay, no, we're, not making we're not making that. <laughs> also, we're not. We don't have an hour either. Because we're good siblings, we're also going to cook for our mum and dad. My mum is going to have the chicken mayo, which is actually what she gets in McDonald's. My dad's going to have Big Mac slash just the burger with Harry. Two Big Macs, two chicken mayos, two, two medium fries. Oh yeah, four fries. sets of medium fries. And two. your glasses look ridiculous. While we're waiting for the oven to heat up, I forgot to mention my side order at McDonald's is always mozzarella sticks, and they actually had these in Asda, which I was pretty impressed with. These are mozzarella party sticks from their party food range. All right, task number one. You put your burgers on your tray. All right, we do need all four. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Why do we? Big Macs take two slices each, and if there's two of us having it, two times two is four. <laughs> Quick math. Quick math. Bang. There we go. Bang. Apart from you need the chicken on there too, so I should oh. pull them across. Not bad. How much room do you want for your chicken? One each, so that'll be fine. Chicken comes in a bucket. Look at how Harry has just Mate. opened that box. So you're pulling her out. It doesn't matter how you open the box, does he? I'm not reusing the box. I'm up it. Oh, French fry time. Is that enough for us all? We need yes. a bit more. A bit more. Oh, yeah, no, not for us all. Oh, no. Yeah, but don't forget. There's no bigger tray. French oh. fry check. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
<laughs> We've had to put some fries on this tray. Please don't judge our cooking. I did just question why we're doing these in the oven and not grilling them. Yeah, well, it's just easiest. It's just it easiest can. to. I feel like Remy from Ratatouille with my. <laughs> Go on then. Harry's about to season. But... The burgers, okay. Chef de Howie, not didn't, doing a very good job. I'm not gonna look, lie. Look, we'll look. skip forward to when it's done. A little bit of peri peri salt. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. A bit of zang, you know. Also guys, I am very, very aware that I could have made my own burgers from scratch and I did consider it, but then I also thought, one, that's a lot more effort and I'm not Gordon Ramsay. And two, I physically don't think I could touch raw meat. Like, yeah. ugh. Even the thought of touching raw mince makes me like, no, no. So we bought the packet ones because we're cheaters and I'm an ex-student and we live out of packet food. Right, the light's gone out. Why am I speaking Australian? I don't know. Right. Meet him first. Meet him first. They go top tray, boom. And Mozzarella chips. dippers and the chips are going in on the bottom. This is this is pretty much how they do it in Mackey's. I've seen them do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, they cook them on an oven like this. It's yeah. exactly, it's yeah. exactly what happens. Done though. Right, now we've got to prep the the sounies. The accessories. No, they're not accessories, it's not a bracelet. No, that's What's what going in me gob? Alrighty folks, it's bread cutting time. <laughs> what and is with the accent? That's not an accent. I just said it's bread cutting time. Cutting all the buns. We got this, the, what's it called? The this was the closest I could bun. find. Is it a seasoned bun? No, it's no. No. seeded. Seeded bun. <laughs> It's not seasoned. Uh, I'm a learner chef, you see. Yeah. Don't do much cooking myself. Cutting through them all, and then we also need, we need all six because we need two of them for the middle layer of the Big Mac, because Big Mac take three layers. Got it, got there in the end. Guys, this is the point we're at. We have another layer of bread in the middle of these breads, because this is going to be the Big Mac. Then the rest of the stuff I still need to prepare. The bread made such a mess, guys. There's seeds everywhere. <laughs> we struggle getting stuff out the oven in this house. I can't oh, no, do you, it. You struggle. Right, we're moving the mozzarella dippers because they're done. So the very bottom layer of a Big Mac is where the cheese goes. We got the closest cheese we could. It's bright orange. Um, they didn't do the literal kind of slimy looking ones. I couldn't find them anywhere. As the shelves were very bare, I did the very best that I could. But then it's lettuce. Then it's lettuce. Okay, should we add the lettuce? Yeah. Harry's and doing then, his research. And then it's a, a layer of bread. Lettuce. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Too much lettuce? Whoa, whoa. Too no, much lettuce? it's just not, not evenly dis distributed. Right, there you go. Then there one there gherkin. Then the layer of bread. Well, layer of no, bread. You need the burger. Ah, you need the burger, right, so we'll come back to that. Should we stick the tomato in? We can't work out if it does or doesn't have a tomato, so we're just going to put a little one because some sites say it does, but then in the photo there isn't. That looks good. I can't believe you're having a gherkin. I would have ordered mine with no gherkin and with a slice of it's cheese. A pickle, dude. It's a pickle. All right, burgers are out. They I don't know why they're so small. Very small. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> they look hilarious, right? It's a good job you're getting two, isn't it? That's all I'm I saying. I mean, they look odd. They do. I don't think we've cooked them right, but no, we have cooked them right. I think you've just got little ones, to be honest with you. Yeah, I could have done. I right. won't lie. So what goes on the second layer? Second layer, you want the same again, minus the cheese. So the the lettuce. And the one gherkin, and then another burger, and then the top, and then squish that bad boy down. You might want to add your own ketchup or mayonnaise, usually it would have sauce in it. Usually it would have the Big Mac sauce, but we didn't have the ingredients for the Big Mac sauce. Yeah. We're in a global All pandemic. Right, you don't have to press it that hard, blimmin' eh? Just squeezed it into Jupiter. I just don't think it looks the same. Then the gherkin, shut up, we're doing the best we could. Then the extra burger. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go. Yeah. If I got served that in Mackey's, let's just say I wouldn't be eating it. In true McDonald fry style, Harry is now covering them salt. in salt because what else do you expect from a Mackey's dinner than overly salty chips? That's enough, I think, yeah. <laughs> Getting everything ready at the same time is proving very difficult, but we're doing okay. It's almost ready. It's just mine and mum's now, so we've got the two chicken burgers. Here we go, boys and girls. I spitty. think they're done. They're very spitty. There's so much grease on that tray. Turn the oven off. So we're adding some lettuce. I actually don't love lettuce, so I'm only gonna put a tiny bit in because I would ask for it without. I would then add a... Chips look really good on camera, but... Yeah, I know. I'm not sure if they, they'll they taste good. Cheese, even though I know it doesn't go with chicken, but I do this in Nando's as well. And then the main ingredient in a mayo chicken is the mayonnaise. <laughs> so we're gonna add that, and then they're pretty much ready. And I think that obviously you need to add sauces to the Big Macs, but this is as close as you're gonna get without being either at McDonald's or having a Big Mac sauce. Mayonnaise. Thank you, Harry. Oh, shut up. Mayonnaise is going in. We're running out of mayo. That's not good. It's not good. But I'll have to do. No, that's that's enough. That's all right, yeah. But you need one for more. Oh, and my tomato, which can just go on top. There what? we go. Right, and then... And there's your chicken mayo. Chicken mayo. With chips. Now you need to do mumps. Excuse fingers, the chicken. We have washed our hands. We have. I don't... COVID-19 free. I don't think mum will want cheese. She could always add it afterwards. But she will want mayo because that's. Why is it poured perfectly for hers and not at all? I squeezed it. 
And there you have your fake chicken you mayo. Put a gherkin in mums. She no, likes gherkins. Don't I don't put a gherkin. Ah, all good. She'll we'll call it right. there. The last thing in McDonald's. What would you order to drink? I'd have a Coke. And I would have a Tropicana orange juice. I don't like fizzy drinks. I'm that person that orders an orange juice in McDonald's. I'm sorry. So that's what I'm gonna get. One Diet Coke for Harry. And a Tropicana for you. And a Tropicana for me. <laughs> a mayo chicken. Jesus. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> It is taste test time. In here we have, ah, that's hot. Ah, mozzarella dipping. It's a new item on the menu. Oh, it's hot. Because it's quite spicy in here, it's got nothing else. Spicy in here, Dad, I cooked no, burgers. No, like because, of the, because of the air. I don't know, the chips are kind of cooked. The chips are kind of cooked, that sounds good. They would be in McDonald's if you went to McDonald's. Mozzarella dippers. Putting Nando's hot sauce on my burger, I'm cheating. Here's my Tropicana, you guys don't have a drink, we didn't know what your order was. Should I put hot sauce on one layer and ketchup on the other? No, do it. You have all sorts of sauces in a burger. I'm Ready? Put cheese on this layer, actually. Mmm. Yeah. Good. Mhm. Mm I mean, I really hope the chicken is cooked. Jesus! That was nuclear. I just fully it burned my wrist. I just put it in the oven just to keep it warm because it burned on the table for 15 minutes. I can't. I can't do a chop. Harry, I want your verdict before we we start yeah, it sorry. up your time. Give me that then. <laughs> out of 10, I'm gonna give my Big Mac boxes a solid nine out of 10. Taste test time. That was a big burger, Harry. You have so oh. much going on in there. That was gonna be cool. That tastes exactly the same as a Big Mac. That's my dad's verdict. That's a lie. No, it's not. <laughs> honestly, honestly. There's a lot in there. It is actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Have you got two burgers? Yeah. Oh. That is good. You can't really see. Success all round, boys and girls. So the closest thing I could get in Asda to a McFlurry was this tub of Oreo ice cream. Harry and I would probably both get Oreo, I think, if we're gonna get Smarties. If we were gonna get a McFlurry. So I thought this was pretty good. This is like rock solid. We should have taken this out of the freezer. But also this afternoon, I happened to bake cookies, which you can also get from McDonald's and are really good. And these don't look too dissimilar to the chocolate cookies from McDonald's. So my parents are gonna have those and we are gonna share. They do look like Subway ones. Let us know down in the comments if you want to see me and Harry recreating our Subway order. It's that would be a good one. It. BLT. Actually, that would be quite easy. Yeah. Let us you know in the comments. You microwave it, though. No, you'd grill it. You'd put it on the grill for like a couple of minutes. No, you'd grill, grill it. <laughs> go on, Harry, go for it. Sparta! <laughs> it was really satisfying. It's so... Yeah, we what might need to leave that a hot minute. Well, we're gonna, we're not gonna actually eat it out of that. I know you would eat it much more. That's why I was saying, what are you doing? Because right, I was gonna yeah, spoon some of it scoop. out. Oh yeah, should we get an ice cream scoop? Oh, it's, not a, been smart, it's not a million miles from a McFlurry though, guys, is it? It's Oreo ice cream. So <laughs> Mum's raving Hello. about the cookies, Very thank good. you. Harry, you muppet. Got a lollipop. Nice. Cookies out of 10, Mum? Mm. 10. 10 out of 10, I'm gonna have to try one. So in true McFlurry style, I've melted it a little bit because oh, you always get them and they're a little bit mushy. Let me know down in the comments what McFlurry you would order. I always got Oreo or sometimes the Galaxy one. Smarties, McFlurry. Harry's saying Smarties. No, it's from a clip. What's from, that from? It's from TGF, bro. Right. He Ramel goes and gets the Smarties box. <laughs> And just like that, we are done and we're back upstairs. It is now 7 p.m. We've just finished eating. This video was actually fun. I think this quarantine time is definitely making me experiment a little bit more with food. I'm the first to hold my hands up and say that if, if an option to eat out is there, I will take it. And I hate that about myself. It's a really bad personality trait, but like, I just, I'm prone to it and it's so annoying and I wish I could cook because I can't really. It's something I want to work on. I'm getting better, especially at basic things. Like I would say that I'm a solid six out of 10 at like basic, basic culinary skills now but that was actually really enjoyable before a lot of people comment saying you don't cook burgers in the oven i know you don't cook burgers in the oven you usually would fry them the reason i did was because everything else was being cooked in the oven and on the back of the packet it said oven cook so i was like you know what whatever and it tastes the same so that is that if you want to get involved in this challenge then i recommend that you try it at home make your mcdonald's order from scratch from home because if you're a mcdonald's addict and you're missing it i feel like it's a good substitute i hope you guys are having a good week give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to check out the video i uploaded with my brother on tuesday it was a lot of fun to film it was a lot of fun to make so go and check that out if you haven't already seen it and i shall be back on my channel with some vlogs from my time in singapore on saturday bye